The Republican candidates pulling out all the stops ahead of tomorrow's crucial races in Michigan and Arizona. And at the last minute, Mitt Romney may be surging ahead. Plus, the debate over social and economic issues on the trial getting hotter. Here to break it all down, Guy Benson, political editor of townhall.com. Guy, welcome back to the show. We love having you on. Hey, Jerry. It's great um, to be back. I always love being here. Well, good. That's, that's, it's a lot of love. That's what it is. Um, <laughs> let's, talk about, let's talk about Michigan first, because the expectation out there today, I'm hearing all the commentators say, Romney by a smidge. What's your view? Yeah, well, there's a lot of love here, but not so much in Michigan with Romney and Santorum going at each other on the campaign trail, as expected. Look, there are two big elections tomorrow, one in Arizona, one in Michigan. But you're absolutely right to focus in, Jerry, on Michigan. Because, look, Mitt Romney, his lead continues to grow in Arizona. He could win by double digits. He could win by 20 points there, and it wouldn't matter if he can't carry his home state. He was born in Michigan. His father was the governor there. And the polling data today, fascinating. Really, really close. Nationally, they're neck and neck. In Michigan, almost the exact same thing. I looked at maybe eight polls out of Michigan today. Roughly half of them show Santorum up by one or two points. The other half show Romney ahead by as much as six points. And it's going to be a nail biter. Right. It, okay. one, one more point on the polling, right Jerry. Ahead. Fascinating thing here, too, from PPP, which is a more Democrat leaning pollster, about 15% of Michigan Republicans have already voted early. Among those, Romney has like a 40-point lead. So if it comes down to a, to a photo finish, that could put him on top. All right. Okay. Well, uh, let's talk about uh, Santorum for a second because he's been making some interesting comments about religion. Uh, here's Rick Santorum. We need to look at the situation with gas prices today. We went into a recession in 2008 because of gasoline prices. The bubble burst in housing because people couldn't pay their mortgages because we were looking at $4 a gallon gasoline. And look at what happened. Economic decline. All right, well, that wasn't a sad about religion. That was a sad about how gas prices are responsible for all the evils in our yeah. society. And I don't I mean... <laughs> That was a weird one. It just, it's confounding because it confuses the causes of uh, some economic crises. And he seems to be blaming the housing crisis on oil prices, which makes no sense whatsoever. No. Does Rick Santorum know what he's talking about when he talks I, about economics? I mean, look, listen, you got to give me a chance here, Guy. Uh, sure. Santorum is really a political creature. He's really a Washington creature, isn't he? At the end of the day, does, does he have credibility when it comes to managing the economy? Well, I think he has some credibility, certainly with conservatives. I know the Romney campaign trying to paint him as a Washington insider, and he certainly did himself no favors in the debate last week where he was giving all these arcane process-level answers based on what it was like to be inside the Senate and why he was voting for stuff that he didn't really believe in. So I think that probably promulgated the Romney attack against him. But uh, And I think that Rick Santorum is a smart guy who knows a lot about a, a whole variety of issues. The clip that you just played there, I mean, maybe you need to invent a new religion to believe that because I, that's, right. that's very and, – and you're right. I think it actually is and, – and I like Rick Santorum, but it is destructive and not helpful. There are causes of the housing bubble which burst and caused the economic collapse that we experienced just before President Obama was elected. And to muddy the waters there with just false or like totally off the mark analysis just to score a cheap point today on gas prices, in the long term, not helpful. Confounding. Really? Yep. Guy, yep. thanks for coming on today. We appreciate it. Thanks so much, Jerry.